come back. I will continue sharing. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Thank you. Sorry, my internet kicked me out. Uh, I have finished uh, completing the sentences, teacher. Oh, you have finished completing. Okay. Uh, would you like to share with us? Uh, sure. Uh, well, uh, only only one, right? Or the eight sentences. The eight sentences would be good. Okay. <clears throat> uh, first one. Uh, the city should provide more parking lots. Second, we have too many damaged streets. Uh, third, there is too much pollution in the city. Uh, fourth, there isn't enough additional streets to avoid the main traffic. Mm -hmm. uh, five, fifth, there should be fewer old cars in main streets. Yeah. Uh, six, we don't we don't have enough education to be car drivers. Yeah. Uh, seven, there should be less. In there should there there should be less. Uh, informal stores at the walk site. And the last one, we need more empathy when we are driving in heavy traffic. Excellent. Excellent sentences. You did a very good use of the expressions of quantity and uh, nothing to say. Good pronunciation as well. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Anybody else? Another volunteer? If you have not finished the eight, you can read what you have. No more volunteers? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, have, thank you. My internet is. Thank you for confirming. Any other volunteer? Uh, me, teacher. Thank you, Magdia. Uh, for example, the number one the city should provide more parks. Uh, we have to we have too many school schools. There's too much noise. There isn't enough potable water. Mm -hmm. There should be fever cars. We don't have enough school bus. School buses. Mm -hmm. There should be less traffic. Huh. Yes. <laughs> and we need. Uh, we we need more. more. We need more money. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely yes. <laughs> Excellent yes. examples. Very well done, my dear. You did very nice job with the use of the expressions of quantity. Thank, you, so thank you so much for sharing. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Any other volunteer? Uh, I might as having issues. Okay, any other volunteer? Mm. 
Okay, if there are no more volunteers for this exercise. Okay. Yeah, I'm having some issues too, Marilyn. Uh, thank you for writing. Okay, so we're going to complete this listening. Let me let me share from why I have the audio here. Need to make it smaller. Okay, this is the listening that we have in order to practice our listening skill. And it says we're going to listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how the city has tried to solve its traffic problems. And then after we listen, we're going to check the true or false statements. First, we're going to just decide if the sentences are true or false. Um, I know that you might not have this material printed. It's not mandatory. If you, if you don't have it, it's okay. You can work on your notebook. Um, you just need to write maybe the number one, two, three, four, and five. And then you write T for true or F for false. We have first sentence already done. Motorists can't drive into the business district. That is false, according to the listening. Then you will um, you will listen and write T or F for sentences two, three, four, and five. Let's listen. Let's read sentence number two. People need a special certificate to buy a car. Number three. There are enough certificates for everyone. Number four. Cards are more expensive than in North America. And five, public transportation isn't very good. So we're going to listen and then you write T for true or F for false in number two, three, four, and five. Get ready with your notebook. I'm going to play the recording. Ready? Ready. Ready. Page 9, Exercise 4. Listening. Singapore solves it. Part A. Listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. Check true or false for each statement. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world. And there's also a very good taxi and bus system. You want to listen one more time? Please. Yes, okay. Page 9, Exercise 4. Listening. Singapore solves it. Part A. Listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. Check true or false for each statement. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. 
There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world, and there's also a very good taxi and bus system. Did you get the information or you need to listen again? Could be one more time, teacher, please. Sure, that's all right. Page 9, Exercise 4. Listening. Singapore solves it. Part A. Listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. Check true or false for each statement. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world, and there's also a very good taxi and bus system. Take your answer. Number one, we have it already done. It is false. Number two, people need a special certificate to buy a car. That is true. No. It's, false. it's true. Excellent. Number three, there are enough certificates for everyone. False. false. It is false. Excellent. Number three, cars are more expensive than in North America. True. That's true. Yes, excellent. And the last one, public transportation isn't very True. False. That is false. Ah, it's false. False, excellent. Excellent, if you have all the answers correct, that's great. If you miss one, that's fine. Uh, listening is quite difficult, but we're going to practice it. Uh, every time that we have a chance, we will do it. Thank you so much for your participation. And now we're missing part number, part letter B. Sorry. Listen again. For the false statement, write the correct information. So we have false. It's already done. It's number one. Number three and five. Number three and five are false. We're going to listen again and write the correct information. Number three says there are enough certificates for everyone. This is false. We need to write the correct information. Number five, it says public transportation isn't very good. We need to write the correct information. So we're going to listen one more time and you will write the correct information for number three and five. Ready? Get your Ready. notebook. Okay, good. Page nine, exercise four, part B. Listen again for the false statements Write the correct information. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district 
only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world, and there's also a very good taxi and bus system. Let's listen one more time. If you finish, you can check them. If not, it's time to get the information that we're missing. Page nine, exercise four, part B. Listen again. For the false statements, write the correct information. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, Motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world, and there's also a very good taxi and bus system. Okay, uh, volunteer for number three. There are enough certificates for everyone. No, everyone can get certificate. Yes, not everyone. There aren't enough certificates for everyone. Very good. And uh, number five. Public transportation is very good. So the way yes. system is the best. Yes, so. that's, uh-huh. So public transportation is Singapore is excellent. And additional information is that the subway system is, is the best, it's excellent. Very well done. You did it good with this lesson and so. Um, I think that that's it for the listening part. Now, uh, let's see what's next. After the listening, we have another exercise. Um, this is more like vocabulary. It says choose a solution for each problem. We have in this uh, side, the problems, and then we have the solutions here. And we have the first already done as an example for us. No more parking space. Solution, build a parking, a public parking garage. Hmm. I'll give you time for you to do your matching, choosing us solutions for each of the problems that we have here. Dark street, no places to take children, crime, car accidents, traffic jam. Let me know when you're ready. I'll give you time for you to do your matches. You can use your notebook, the preferable.
I'm done. <laughs> Good. What do you like to share? Uh, sure. Um, all or just one? All of them. Okay. Well, the to the second dark streets. Uh, install modern lights. That's correct. Good. Uh, number three. Uh, no places to take to take children. Um, build more more parks. Build more parks. Uh huh. For crime, hire more police officers. Mm -hmm. uh, five car accidents. Install more traffic lights. And six traffic jams. Build a subway system. Yes, that is correct. Excellent. So um, good job with this. I guess that most of you have similar answers, right? Similar matches or the same one. <laughs> so thank you so much for sharing. We'll go ahead and continue with part B. According to the, or looking at the solutions, we're going to write sentences explaining the problems using too much, too many, or not enough, and the problems in part A. We have, um, here we have the problems, remember. And here, um, we have example number one already done. We have the solution. Look at the solutions. And then write the sentence explaining the problem. For example, in number one, the solution is the city should build a public parking garage. There aren't enough parking spaces. We have in number two, the city should install more traffic lights. And you can write one of the problems here. For example, there are too many car accidents. That could be the number two. The city should install more traffic light. There are too many car accidents. Is this clear what you're going to do? Yes, teacher. Mm, great. I'll give it time and let me know when you're ready.
finished. Have you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. Would you like to share your your sentence? Okay. Um, the city show install more traffic lights. There are too many car accidents. Okay. <clears throat> the city should build a subway system because there are too many traffic jams. That is. Um, uh, there are too many traffic jams. Yeah, that is. Uh, yeah, you can use there is too much because traffic jam is uncountable. Okay, I thought uh -huh. that. It is countable because jams is plural. <laughs> okay, there is too much traffic jams. Okay, um, the city should hire more police officers. There are too many crimes. There's too much crime. Crime. Too much crime. Yeah, crime is uncountable. Okay. There is too much crime. Uh, the city should build more parks. There aren't enough places to take sugar. Uh, the city should install modern street lights because there are too many dark streets. Excellent. You did a very good job with this. How much for time? Does anybody else have something different or you have the same? Another volunteer? And number five, I don't know if I am wrong. Uh, it says uh, the city should build more, more parks. I write uh, there, isn't enough, uh, there isn't enough places to take children. Uh huh. Places uh, is in plural, so there aren't enough places. Oh, okay. Pretty good. Thank you so much. Uh, anybody else would like to check? Any other? Okay, no, so I'm going to stop sharing for a little while. So we're going to check attendance. Sorry. For the second time tonight. So let's see, Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Abigail. Alex Enrique Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you, Alex. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Elizabeth Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. Emerson Alexander. Present. Thank you, Emerson. Francisco Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gertrude Saimara. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Guadalupe Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Hazel Thank you, Hazel. Dr. Enrique. Present. 
Thank you. Julie Sayamile. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Luis Javier. Luis Javier. Matiela Saúl. Matiela Saúl. Manuel Alexander. Thank you. Okay, my dear, thank you so much. I see you wrote in the chat. Marilyn Alejandra. Mario Ernesto. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Víctor Noé. Present. Thank you. Vidal Byron. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And William Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let me continue sharing. Okay. Let's find another way to say the problem in part B. Let's begin the sentence with there should be less, fewer, etc. For example, we have number one already done. Um, it says the city should build a parking, parking space and we have the problem here, there aren't enough parking space. Based on this, we have, there should be more parking spaces. Okay. You can work on your notebook. If you don't have this printed, it's not a problem. We can work in the notebook.
Are you done? Volunteer to share number two. Let me know when ready. Ready, teacher. Okay, would you like to share number two? Okay, Mike Diel said number two, there are too many accidents. Excellent, Mike Diel. Very well done. Uh, volunteer for number three. Every day, there is more traffic jams. Uh-huh. Every day, there is more traffic jam. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing, Emerson. Number four. Nobody got the number four. Nobody has the number four? It should be less crime in downtown. Excellent, Emerson. Very good sentence. Excellent job. And number five? Somebody has the number five or six? There should be more place to take children. There should be more places to take children. Excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. And finally, number six. Nobody has the number six? Okay, well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for your participation. You did an excellent job with this topic. I think that tomorrow we will be finishing the section number one. So for now, uh, I hope that you sleep well. The weather is really nice and see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. See you tomorrow. You. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. Take care. Sleep well. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow.